So welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. I'm very curious about today's topic as you can see by the title. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Before I either have my mind blown or my heart broken, no one knows, we'll see. But before all of that goes down, you need to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. I don't want this to be like a hit it and quit it type of situation where you just out here, you get what you want to get and there you go. This is not what that is. Also, side note, that stupid little teddy bear that used to always sit in the back of the bed is gone. Actually, it was a water bottle and actually it leaked. And actually, I only realized that it was leaking and it was making my bed wet when it was time to go to bed. So, I asked my sister if she thinks she's met my future spouse. And she was kind of like, yeah, kind of no. I asked my dad. He was like, I didn't know we were supposed to be looking. <laughs> my mom also said she didn't know that she was supposed to have her eye open. And I was like, you guys don't see beautiful men and then just think, oh, granted, I think it makes sense that your parents don't see a beautiful person and then be like, yes, that's what my daughter's gonna like. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, of course, I did not ask my brother this question because he does not care. I could literally pop out a child tomorrow and my brother would be like, whoa, interesting. Like, nothing catches him off guard, nothing. Then I asked all my Instagram followers about their own lives, not about mine. Maybe I should. I think on impulse, I'm gonna actually post on my Instagram right now and ask everybody if they think they've, if they think I've met my, if, if, if they think that I already, you know what I'm gonna ask. Look, let me tell you, I got a little bit distracted and I ended up making a whole TikTok. <laughs> I'm hungry. While we do this video, I'm gonna order food. Oh, damn it! Wait, hold on. Let me let me quickly have a motivational talk with myself. You really want to fit into this one dress. You really want to fit into this one dress. One meal will not hurt you. There we go. That was the motivation I needed. What I predict everybody's gonna say is that I haven't met him. It's a weird question. I'm just curious to see what people are gonna say. <laughs> so the results, what everyone else said at the time of my posting was 59% said. No, they have not met their future spouse and 41% said they did. This is why I said what I said. You see all these posts floating on Instagram. By the age of 25, you've already met your spouse. By the age of 27, you've fallen in love three times. Like these things that are like trying to give us all similar experiences, knowing very well that that's not what everyone's going to deal with. Okay, like... We know for a fact that black women do not have the same Tinder experience as white women. The people who said yes, I was like, I know them. So I was like, okay, yeah, well, that makes sense. You definitely are going to get married to this person. Like, duh. But then other people, I was like, who are you dating? For me, I'm going to say it's 65-35. Nope. Make a strong choice. <laughs> no, actually, let me just tell it like it is. I was going to actually say it's 70-30. 70% that I haven't met him and the 30% that I have met him. Because at the time when I was coming up with that statistic for myself in this present moment, it was under the notion that mm, I was gonna travel the world. <laughs> but it's a pandemic, so where am I going? So today's statistic is gonna go according to the people that I know. The people that I could like physically give a high five to because I actually know them. It just finished heating up. Oh, yes! Right there is where you need to be. Based off of the men that I know right now that are not problematic. Oi! 75%. 75% I... Hell no! What am I saying? 75% of the guy friends that I have I could marry. This is a perfectly appropriate time to tell you that I failed Matt's paper three. Okay? Probability. Probability. The probability that I'm gonna give a good statistic right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm gonna write down 10 names in my school book. So, I like him. Um, if I was possessed, maybe. No, 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 no. Hmm, yes. I don't know him, but John Boyega is here. So, allow me. So I've written these 10 names based off of people plus one. From what I can tell, we're gonna take off the one who still has to beg for forgiveness. Problematic, yes. Take off this person even though he is fine. Take off this person. I don't wanna do that. Oh, take him off because he's crazy. 
take him off because I was putting him there for the sake of stats. Now we have four out of 10. That's 40%. According to my stuff, almost show the name. <laughs> I almost show the names. That's 40%. But if I take away John Boyega, then it's actually 30%. Oh, whatever. So that's my statistic. There we go. It wouldn't be a thorough, assessed, fleshed out video if I didn't also include a BuzzFeed quiz. So now I'm going to go on the BuzzFeeds and I'm going to do this test that has since been updated. And it's called, is your soulmate someone you've already met? Question number one. How many close friends do you have? A six to 10. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. Are you currently in a relationship? Bitch. What is other? And what is, it's complicated. It's either yes or no. No. Did you attend college or something? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Where do you live? I live in a big city. How many times have you moved to a new, Baby! It's four. But how often do you go on... Oh. How often do you go on dates? I don't like this test anymore. Rarely. Have you ever used online dating sites or apps? As a joke, yes. Have you ever had a crush on one of your friends? Possibly. Do you currently have a Oh my gosh, stop it. What is up with this question? The, you're doing too much. Well, technically, according to the list of people that I gave you that included John Boyega, yeah. So I'm gonna say yes. Your soulmate is someone you already know. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. I feel like this is a personal attack on my life. Like, if I already know them, then why aren't they hollering at me? According to the internet, I've apparently already met him. So that's all I can do for today. I'm gonna wait for everybody to be able to vote on Instagram so I can see what everybody says and I'll film my reaction to that tomorrow. But in any case, that is what it is. So future husband, since we're already friends, just remember that I don't like to share popcorn. <laughs> So this is the follow-up to tell you what the poll said and it's more or less pretty much what I calculated, okay? Emphasis on I calculated this. Now, it, it would have been more accurate if I took John Boyega out of the equation, which maybe for you, you think I should, but listen, what was I gonna do? 74% of you voted that I have not met him and 26% of you said I did. Now, if I do, without John Boyega, three out of the nine guys that I chose for the list could be my husband and that, boils down to one out of three, which then boils down to 0, 0.33 three times 100 is 33 percent. So, this is supposed to be a fun way of me poking fun at where you're supposed to be in life type of posts that you see on the internet and just things that you hear from people in general when it comes to where your life should be and how your life should look. Guys, I just want everybody to be extremely kind. <laughs> Do yourself. I'm gonna get vulnerable. It's easy for me to talk about relationships and to tell people, man, nah, just don't do, don't focus on these people, don't even give people time, blah, blah, blah. Like it's easy to do that because I'm not really worried, not concerned about it because it's not like my biggest desire in my life to to be in a relationship. Of course it would be nice, but it's not like my biggest, like, you know, my, my heart doesn't like, you know, get sad about it. But whenever I see posts about what's supposed to be happening with your career. If you don't have this type of savings, and if you don't have this type of investments, you're not gonna be wealthy. Like those type of posts that are like talking about finances and like what you should be doing with your career, how to make a business, those type of things get me in my feelings all the time. Cause I, I, cause you could just feel like you are failing. Hence why it's easier to just be like men and women, shut up. But to talk about, to talk about failing in relationships is absolutely the best thing you could, is so entertaining for me. But to talk about failing at like what your dream is and like purpose, oh, oh. you want to see me cry? Do that one. But I feel like all of us just need to be calm. Just run your race. But don't do that to yourself. Don't be mean to yourself. Just do you. If you keep on seeing where things are lacking in your life, you will never be fulfilled. So please, Lord, help us, everybody.
Let's please just be happy, thankful people, okay? So thank you everybody for giving me your input with the stats and the polls and everything. And I will see you very soon with the next video. I do not know what it's gonna be. See you in the next one.